I'm having an awesome time in the Philippines today. Hope you are as well. Where my head today? I want to talk to you about in the kitchen with Bobby D and Lisa D. If the place in the kitchen with Bobby D and Lisa D in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, what a joy, it's such a joy to see come back to you again, my friends. And today I want to say those of you here for the first time, if you would please, click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you continue receiving fresh new Philippine videos, motivational videos, and worldwide videos. Now, Lisa D and I have had a good morning today, and uh, I was going to do a video, a live stream on, on the, live stream, on the uh, computer, but it was too slow. So I'm using a handheld today. And what I say, you know, what a, what a time, uh, what a, a very appropriate time for me to do a video in the kitchen. So I'm gonna show you some things we did. I'm gonna show you some things that we did to our house. And you're going to be happy because we're happy. Aren't you happy, Lisa D? Huh? Yeah, I am. Oh, she acting crazy today. <laughs> yes, she's happy. But yeah, I'm, we're, we're going to show you a couple of things. What we did, we had some improvements done. I'm out in the garage now, y'all. Yeah. As you can see behind me, it's still some good. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Every time I come out here and do a video, Lizzy you got to make noise. You, what up? You got to make any more noise, Lizzy? Okay, you through? You through? You through? You through? Oh my goodness, I don't know what it is. Every time she see me doing a video, she got to make some noise. <laughs> okay, wave your hands in the air and act like you just don't care, okay? Okay, uh, but you see some of the boards behind me, that's some of the wood that they left over from our, our, from our projects we had done. So right now I'm gonna show you the first thing we had done, y'all, was our flooring in the garage. As you recall, our garage was just cement. I mean, it was just, you know, it wasn't paved, wasn't painted, but nothing. So we, we huh? No. So we decided to get it tiled. Tiled garages in the Philippines is a big deal out there. I don't know why, and I don't, I have no rhyme, no reason for it, but for some reason, they like tiled, Garages. To me, it's like, what of them, man? <laughs> I'm used to cement garages, but the garages here in the Philippines are very, very tiny, first of all. You can just barely get one car, and as you can see our car right there. You see how close it is to the wall? Everything in the Philippines is tiny because most of the people here are tiny people. You know, I'm 5'5", five, five, and they call me a giant. I'm <laughs> not playing with you. They call me a giant out here because, I, I, you know, they just tiny people out here, short. But uh, the first thing we had done was we had our tile done. And I'm gonna show you the garage. Just sit, let me put my coffee over here. Hold on a second, take another sip. I'm enjoying the, the things we had done to our house, y'all. It's been a blessing to get some things done. And uh, we feel more comfortable in the house now, the way we want it, things done. Uh, whenever you get a new thing done to your house, you wanna explore it, enjoy it. And we pay the money, we pay cash, we don't buy a credit. And uh, we had good people do the good work. So uh, we're enjoying the benefits of our labor. So first thing we had done, guys, let me put this up here. One second, one second. First thing we had done was we had our tile done, okay? And I'm gonna pan down here, see if you can see this. Hold on, let me turn this, let me turn this camera around. Okay, so you can see the tile, brand new tile. From the beginning of the of the house, of the rock garage to the end of the garage. Brand new spank, brand new time. We got our car in the garage now. So this is the front of our home right here, uh, guys. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, as you can see, Lisa G just got through washing some clothes. And then what they do out in the Philippines, guys, they hanging outside so that when your floors dry, it dries by the sun. You know, this is this is a uh, undeveloped country. A lot many people don't have uh, too many dryers out here, but you have washers. So we we have a uh, 
we don't have a, a dryer, but we have a washer, and the washer does 70% of the grind for it, but it doesn't do fully. So she hangs stuff outside. I know it looks crazy, man. I hadn't seen this kind of stuff since I was a kid, you know. But yeah, that's what they do, you know. You got these some things that happen. But yeah, this is our this is our garage right here. Um, and uh, I wanted to show you that. We got nice tile. We appreciate the tile. The guys did a good job for us, and then we had a very good price. I'm gonna walk you around our house, and then I'm gonna walk you around the neighborhood today. My dear, <clears throat> huh? Okay, she said, no, no. Okay, I want to show you that. Y'all got to, don't pay attention to, to some of the stuff. We haven't finished cleaning up your garage yet, okay, guys? So, we haven't finished cleaning up everything yet. So, the guy, they, they did a messed up job. And I, when you when you do work in the Philippines, guys, guess what? When when the guys get work done, you, they don't clean up their mess. You got to clean it up. So, we still cleaning up their mess. And if USA, when, they, when I had work done in the USA, when they got through my work, you got to clean your mess up, Buster. You don't leave my house till you clean it up. But out here, nah, they don't clean up nothing. They, if they mess up your flow, if they mess up your dough, whatever, that's it. <laughs> you clean it up. <laughs> and I used to get angry with that, you know, but I've gotten adjusted to it now. Lisa, Lisa D told me that's just how they do out here. They don't clean. When you have work done, the carpenters, whoever you get to do your work, they just don't clean it up. You have to clean it up. So I'm all right with it now, but. Uh, when I we first heard about that, I was like, no, nah, man, they got to clean this mess up. And the man looked like me. He got, told me he got to clean this mess up. He looked at me like he wanted to slap me. <laughs> I heard him stop saying that. <laughs> well, okay, I'm going to show you. This is our patio area right here. And I'm going to show you. These deeds over there hanging some clothes. We got a lot of space. Don't look at the junk, y'all. We haven't straightened everything out yet. But this is what's called a dirty kitchen, okay? Dirty, dirty kitchen. And it's sort of dirty right now, for real. Nah, it's not dirty. We clean, man. We clean people. Well, so we got, we got right now, we're on the patio, right? Brand new kitchen right here, okay? They go your sink, and there goes the cabinets down there, right? And uh, everything is working like it's supposed to. And this is our burner right here. When we use the kitchen, when Lisa D does the cooking out here, guys, this is what she's going to use outside instead of having a conventional stove. We have a conventional stove, gas stove inside, but when she comes outside, she's got what I call a portable stove. It's called a butane, what's it called? Propane, butane? It, it's called a butane burner, gas burner. So it uses butane gas and she just sets it up. See right here? She'll set it right here and she'll do a little cooking. And uh, turn it on. Is it's, it's run by propane? Is it gonna open this section up? You see right here. This is a section where you see right below there, the, the cartridge. That's a pro, propane cartridge right there. Put that in, and she lights it up with a match. And no. she what? You didn't okay, she's got an auto one. You don't have to like, use a match for this. You turn it on, it comes on. Here are some of the more, more canisters right here. It's called blue flame butane gas, okay? Right there, butane gas. So she's got some extra canisters. It'll be a while before she can get all those four. But it's very, very economical, and it's very, very convenient. Lisa D is from the mountains. She is a country gal, okay? She likes to cook outside. And the reason why people in the Philippines don't like the smell of food in their house, because they're not used to it. Most of the people came from the province. And when you're in the province, guys, you don't, cook in the house, you cook outside. So Lisa D is a province gal as well as a mountain gal. So she likes cooking. She's been asking me for a dirty kitchen since we've been here. We've been here almost, what, eight years now? Seven years? Seven or eight years. And so I said, well, I'm gonna get this for you. We found somebody could do it with a good price. And so they did it, man. So we got a nice place right here. We can, we can, we can cook, Lisa D can cook, right? That's the dirty kitchen, right? And that's her stove right there. Then she can do this right here. See that big washing machine right there? She can wash, the wash is right next to the, to the kitchen sink and everything. She can hook it up to the holes. And, and in the Philippines, you have to hook your washer up to a, a water spigot. So that it's not like uh, in the USA where everything is automatic. This is the water spigot right here. They put in and hook the, the washer up. So everything's convenient for her. And uh, 
You can see this is our patio. When we get everything straightened out, I'm going to get a table and chair. Nice one. We got one now, but this table is messed up. I'm going to give a table and chair that we can sit out here on the patio as she cook. And we can eat our breakfast or lunch, whatever. And uh, it's going to be a breeze. It's going to be a blessing, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. I wish you guys were here with me right now to see how nice it is and how much nicer it is for us. It's been a good morning. And we've been up, I've been up since 5.30, which is my normal normal time. Lisa G got up at 8, which is her normal time. We had our breakfast this morning, and I'm feeling good. That's why you see me got me a cup of coffee. That's my first cup of coffee this morning. I normally drink one. Sometimes I'll get two, but uh, I'm loving it. It's been a good day. Lisa D is doing some washing right now. She just got through cooking. She cooked us some chicken patties, some hash browns. What else? She didn't cook no smoothie this morning, y'all. She normally, I did smoothie. you did a smoothie too? I forgot you drank smoothie. I didn't drink no, oh yeah, she did a smoothie. And she cooked extra food. Normally she just cooked a smoothie. But this morning she cooked yeah, hash browns. She had, she cooked, she had some hash browns and uh, some hash brown chicken. It was good. And we had a smoothie on top. I forgot about the smoothies. I got there first. But yeah, uh, you can see right here, guys. This is the ceiling for this dirty kitchen right here. As you can see, right there, the roof of the dirty kitchen. Remember we told, I did a video on getting roof supplies for the roof of the dirty kitchen? This is the roof. Isn't it beautiful, guys? Look at that. The light can come right in, and uh, there's no rain. It doesn't rain on us, you know? It's so nice. And you, as you can see right through it, and right above that, you see the big air, con air conditioning unit right there, right? And uh, the guys... They did a good job, and they painted it too, man. I mean, I'm I'm happy, man. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm so happy. I want to cry. But yeah, now you can see. Now you can tell everybody you was in the kitchen with Lisa D, Bobby D, and Lisa D. You was in the kitchen with us. <laughs> Don't tell them what you were doing in the kitchen, okay? Because you wasn't doing no cooking. <laughs> Lisa D was doing the cooking. Is she in the kitchen? See that? She loves. She she stay in this kitchen. You put the color on. No, Lisa D is in this kitchen all the time now. I don't know. Every time I turn around, she in the kitchen. She, she said, "You put the camera on me." No, I got it above you. I got it. I ain't got it where you need. Don't need them to see. Okay, they see your face. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I got the. Uh, she uh she doing some washing right now, y'all. She's gonna wash our clothes and stuff, and she keeps me clean. And I'm so happy that I got a woman to keep me clean. And I don't have to lift too many fingers around here because Lisa D do all this house stuff. Any of the house stuff, Lisa D do it, man. And I'm so thankful. I got a woman that know how to work. And don't don't bug me with by doing this and doing that. I do help her, though, you know, when I have to. I help her with stuff. I help her uh, mop and all that kind of stuff. But uh, she does most of the housework. I'm going to go back outside, guys. Show y'all. Huh? I'm going to go back outside. She said I'm too loud. I'm going to go back outside to so show y'all. Where we live now you'll have some dogs and stuff because in the philippines guys there's dogs everywhere you hear me dogs are barking all day long and all night long you see big dog over there dogs are barking all day long and all night long when you move to the philippines you might want to get used to that okay because if you don't get used to it you're going to be one unhappy camper because that's the way it is okay don't don't come out double. You know in the USA we don't have all that dog. Don't believe that. Don't do that. You're not in the USA, Buster. You in the Philippines. That's what they do. Yeah. I don't like it either. You think I like it? No. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. But I had to deal with it on a day in day out basis. You know what I'm saying? That's what I you have to do. Keep it right, tight, long, strong. And you keep it moving. What's up, big boy? What's up? You all right? Ah <laughs> uh, yes, well so yeah, that's that's uh one of our neighbors there. But you see this clean area here. Yeah, very clean, and it's a guard, it's a it's a security guard on the gate, twenty four seven. So one time, what I'm telling you, when you come to the Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, don't come in and, and be cheap, okay? Because you're gonna pay for your cheapness with your cheap self. You're gonna be paying for being so cheap. Come out here and get in a, a place with no security. Who does that in a foreign country? And you a foreigner, you got a target on your back. Who does that, huh? Act like you got some sense. Come out here, if you're gonna stay out here, get you a place with some security, okay?
Don't be like these fools come out here and they don't get they gotta get a Filipino cheap place paying a hundred dollars a month and then next thing they know they lose two they leave they yeah they come back everything gone. <laughs> don't do that man please don't do that. Act like you got some sense. Okay? Act like Bobby D done told you to have security. Okay? Please take it from me. You don't want to do that. I've never had any robberies any break-ins ever since I've lived here. You know why? Guess why? I've always lived in a secure place with security. When we lived in one oasis, which is the condo, I had security 24-7 there. And then we moved from there here, and we got security 24-7 here. Now, I can live somewhere cheaper. We buying this place. We, almost, we got a loan for everything. But I can live someplace cheaper with the money on have to be cheap like a like a Filipino and pay $200, $300 a month. I don't want that because that, that comes with no security. You know what I'm saying? Be smart from the start. Use your head, not just to go to bed, okay? Have some sense about you. Have some knowledge about you and some decency about you and have some standards about you. When you have standards, you don't live down on the ground. You don't sleep on the floor, okay? Because you've got standards. You have a nice mattress in the bed or a nice sofa like I got, and you lay your head down. Act like you got some sense, like my mama told me. Hmm? You probably don't have to be no fool. Go to school. <laughs> Whenever we went, I said, what are you doing this thing? Uh, on my house. Don't act a fool. You understand me, son? I said, yes, Man, I'm just, you better act like you got some sense. <laughs> Come on, let, let, people, let people know you've been raised by. I said, I said yes, ma'am. And I, I didn't act a fool, too, because I, I, knew, I knew the consequences. But yeah, man, uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Uh, I'm enjoying my Saturday morning with you guys. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to, uh, bring a greeting to you on, on Saturday morning in the Philippines. I hope you're having a great day, a great evening where you are in the, in the USA or wherever country you're in. Uh, uh, and uh, I hope that you're well and doing swell like uh, you should be doing. It's March the 13th, what is it, 13th? I think it's the 13th. And uh, this month is just flying by. A lot of stuff done, guys. We've been, this has been one of our busiest months, but we had a lot of stuff going on in the house. We just, I told y'all, we got rid of, but we haven't had internet at the home, a home based internet since uh, our December 16th, okay? You remember, you, you guys remember Odette, right? Odette? Yeah, if you don't remember, you better. <laughs> Odette wiped us out, man. I mean, we had, no lights, no water, no, try doing that. Try doing that and thing and keeping a happy face for 18 days. We were, no, we were not happy campers, but you know what, man? Whatever don't kill you, make you stronger, make you longer. So we learned from it. We didn't burn from it. We learned from it. You know some lessons we learned? Number one lesson we learned when old dad hit us, you know what we learned? Be ready, like Freddy, okay? So we thought we was ready, man. Yeah, until we didn't have no lights, until we had no water. That's that's then we know we didn't we we were, we weren't really ready. We was halfway ready, but we weren't really all the way ready. We had candles on, but now if Odette turn around and come back around us, we ready. We fully ready. You know what we got solar baby. Uh -huh. You heard me, solar. We got solar lights, mm -hmm. and we got a solar panel to charge our cell phone. Everything is done by light, sunlight, because sunlight is renewable energy. It's sustainable energy. And that's what we have, okay? So uh, uh, if you out there in the United States with a dog on America, wherever you are, and you think that you're not gonna be affected by climate change, you better think again. Climate change is coming to a neighborhood where you are. Just keep on waiting, hmm? Keep on living, like my grandmama said, she said, keep on living, son. You think it ain't gonna happen to you? Keep on living, son. Keep on living, yeah. Climate change is coming, it's got your name on it. You might have water up to here. You might have 20 feet of stuff snow. You might have tornadoes all over the gang you know what I'm saying? But it's coming because number one problem in this world today is climate 
and how the world, the people of the world have already jacked up this earth. You know, we, we jacked it up. I hate to, I, you know, I feel sorry for my grandchildren because we be leaving them a, a, mess, a messy place. You know, and, and you know, I don't know what they're gonna do. You know, we not jacked this place up. Time and climate, we got snow in, in uh, Hawaii. I, who ever heard of snow in Hawaii? Snow in Florida, who ever heard of it? Climate change. And we got plastic all over the world now. That's why they, you go anywhere in the oceans and plastic is all over the ocean. You can't even swim for the plastic and, 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 and the grime and, and the junk people put in the ocean. Nasty. Huh? We done messed up this planet we call Earth. And now we got to deal with it. And our children got to deal with it. And their children, children got to deal with it. So if things are happening, things are changing. And you got got to be long time. I've seen a lot of stuff. And I know how to roll with the punches. So I can deal with anything coming my way. And I advise you to have that same attitude. The attitude of gratitude and the attitude of flexibility. Yeah. Deal with it. Roll with it. Flow with it. Uh-huh. And go with it. Uh -huh. Until it gets, until it gets, goes against your standards, then you don't roll with it. Then you don't go with it. You take your stand and you stand your ground. Just like the people in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Putin thought he was going. They were going to roll with it. They were going to go with it. Nah, it was against their standards for you to invade their country, Mr. Putin. Yeah, it was against their stand, and now they're standing. They're taking a stand. Yeah, you might be controlling a few cities, but you can't control their lives. Those people are free. They're free and they want to be free forever and they're going to fight for their freedom. Hmm? I don't know about you. I want to remain free and I'm going to fight for my freedom. I remember I was a kid, man, in the civil rights. Uh, I mean, I was a kid in, in the civil rights and we had to march, man. My sister got locked up. My sister, yeah, my sister Gwen got locked up in jail. We, we were kids, Martin, we didn't know what we were doing. She got locked My mom had to bring her food in the jail, you know? And she was in the jail for like two weeks, you know? So you have to fight for what's right. Whether you know it, whether you know what the, exactly the details of why you're fighting or not, you know you want to be free. That's all. That's all you want to do is be free. I remember, I remember this song back in the days and uh, when we was kids, man, we was marching and we used to say this, this song right here and say, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Marching on the freedom lane. Remember that song? Y'all, 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 with Paul Paul, the Paul Paul, they had them batons and they had dogs and they had the water hoses. That was our enemy. And so we had to say stuff to strengthen our mentality. And we sang songs, you know? Yeah, all songs, man. And they, they motivated us. They, they caused us to be uh, unified. We, we grabbed hands, we would hold hands in a line together and we would strength, hold on to each other's hand and they would talk all kind of trash to us and beat us and stuff, lock us up. But we said, uh, we weren't going to be physical and fight them back. You know, Martin Luther King was thinking about no violence, non-violence. You know, I was with that then, but I don't know that I'm with that now. <laughs> they hit me, I'm going to hit them back. <laughs> I'm fine, man. I, got I was a kid then, but they now, they, they going to hit me, I'm going to hit them. <laughs> oh, but I'm not with that non-violence stuff now. But they hit me. I'm not going I'm not, I'm not to start them. You know, my mama told me a long time, she said, son. I said, yes, man. She said, if you don't start nothing, it won't be nothing. <laughs> so I don't start nothing, man. But you put your hands on me. She told me this. Just told me too. She said, son, if, but if they put their hands on you, son. She said, they put their hands on you, lay them out. That's what I do for you. Put your hands on me. And I ain't bothering you. You bother me. I'm going to try to lay you out. I ain't nothing but five feet five. And, I, and I'm going to put something on you. Just like you living life on you. I'm going to put it on you. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know that's how the way it is, man. The world is changing, and you have to change at the time. Okay, it's a beautiful day here in the neighborhood. I wish you were here with me, but I'm doing the best thing I can do to ensure that you're with me is to talk to you on the internet connection.
And I show you that uh, because of this connection, I have a little bit of affection for you. Yeah, love you guys. I'm finna cry. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, hey, you know how I do now. This is all for you. Uh, I know some of y'all love to see Bobby D and Lisa D. Some of y'all hate my guts. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's the way it is. Some of y'all don't like me. It's okay. You ain't got to like me, but you got to love me if you're a Christian. Yeah, I got to love you too. You know, I might not like some of y'all, but I got to love you, man, because I'm a Christian. I'm a child of the king. And when you're a child of the king, he teach you how to sing, okay? Sing songs of freedom. Sing songs of love. Sing songs of power. Huh? For the hour. Yeah. I'm going to ride this train. We're finding ride this train. I need you one nation. All that. Who up in this train with me today? I want to find out who the first man is in this. His ass. Who that said they're going to beat them? Son? I need to know. Come on now. Who up in this train with me? Y'all having a good day? I hope y'all are. I am. Okay. I'm at the bottom of the screen, man. I got a lot of comments. Okay, who, who we got? Who we got? I got a lot of comments today. Okay. Uh Zan man. <laughs> Zan man. Number one, huh? Join the house. What's up, Zan? Good to see you, man. He said, let's go. Hey man, that's my mantra, baby. Let's go. Don't sit on it. Get up on it. Get up off your do nothing. Yeah, Yo, you heard me. I'm talking about you. The one who ain't doing nothing, get up off it. You want, and you already talking that yin yang, but nobody do me. I ain't kidding. Get no in the light and everybody don't like me. Cause you ain't doing nothing. Hmm? You ain't doing nothing but talking loud and saying nothing. Get up off your do nothing and do something. Get your mind right. Get your mind tight. Get your mind long and get it strong. Get it out the gutters, baby. And get it up on a level plane where you can move forward in your life. Quit sitting around crying, but you ain't got this and you ain't got that. Who cares? You it's it's your it's your it's your everything to, if it's to be, it's up to me. That's your issue. Don't make your issue everybody else's issue. That's because you always want a pity party. Let that stuff go. Grow up. Good to see you, Glad man. Y'all give me a proud right turn by BDC One Nation. He said, first man, Sam made it, man. Number one in there. He's how good to see you, man. Brian Train by BDC One Nation. Uh, Zanna Mason, number number two, just won't do it. <laughs> 20, 22. Now you got that right, man. Hey, I'm not against it. I'm not against the person that hits the number two spot at all. But what I am against is the number two spot. You want to strive for number one. Everything is positive and fruitful and productive in your life. Strive to be the best. One thing about my mama, man, she she taught me so many, many things, but she always told me, she said, son, I said, yes, ma'am. She said, if anything you do in your life, son, do it well or don't do it at all. She said, because don't have but do nothing. You can't do it all the way, don't do it. Leave it alone because you'll mess it up. And I've been, ever since then, I was learning that lesson from my mama. Whatever I get into, I try to do my best. When I go on somebody's job, I, I try to do my best. Other people playing, chit chatting, and joking, I'm working. You know? and, and so I was always rewarded for doing my best. In this world of rewards, if you do your best on the job or whatever you get into, there's some rewards for you later, later on down the line. Ride train, buddy, who we got? Mr. Mr. What's up, Mr.? Yeah, right now. So good to say it. He said, hey, Bobby D. Hey, it's Bobby D. Hey, man, I'm, I'm here, man. I'm riding a train today with my friends, you know what I'm saying, and my family. We are, we are family. I got all of my brothers and me. <laughs> Hello, little family. Y'all good? Hey, mister, you know what I'm saying? I got to tell you something, man. I, you know, I got to tell you, right? You know, I got to tell you. <laughs> hey, number two. Choo <laughs> What's up, mister? So good to see you. Ryan Train, Bobby Nisi, One Nation. Who up in this house? John Thomas, Big John in the house. John, 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 John. JT. He said, have a nice morning, Bobby Nisi. Thank you so much, John. John is my gold bullet in the house. I need some more gold members. I need some more silver members. I mean, some more bronze member up in the house. Do you want to do that? Can you? Can I get it, get you to make a chance, make a promise to me that you're gonna be a, a bronze or a gold or a silver member before the years out? I need 14 more. Can you? Can we do it, y'all? I need hey man. Let's go. I need 14 more. I need some soldiers. I don't need. I need some no limit soldiers. I don't need no cowards. I need some straight up strong men that want to go the route with me, that want to walk with me, that want to talk with me, that want to help me live this life, and I help you live your life. I need some soldiers to march with me, to talk with me, to be my friend. <laughs> I'll be yours too, to the end. Let's go, Ryan Train, my easy one nation. Who we got? SML. He said, uh, home improvement looking good. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. We, that you know what? Um, 
We've been trying to do some things for a long time. We, we just finally, finally found a guy that had a great price. And when he did one project, he just had a mind, what about this? I said, that's no, all right, we need it. And then next thing you know, and we finished that project, what about this? You know. And anyway, we had we had a lot of stuff done and we get we paid some good money. Uh it was less than what a normal person would charge, but the guy did a good job. He had his he knew it was him and his friend's brother. They work a team and they do good work. They're quick. Uh, one thing about the, the project, you you have projects then you're working in the in the Philippines. Most of the uh, carpenters or whatever techniques you get to do your work, they work on what's called a day day by day pay pay by day basis. The average fee for daily work labor in the Philippines is about 500 pesos. In the, in the, in the, in the province is about 350 to 400. So what they do is normally they work on a day by day, pay. they get paid by the day. So what they do to stretch the project out, they take a lot of breaks. <laughs> they slow it up, slow it up, slow it up. So you wind up being a, a, a two day project, wind up being 10 days, you know what I'm saying? But this, these guys didn't do that. They were, they did work for a flat fee. They told us what they were charged for the for whole project and it was a good price. And we paid them that and they did it fast because they want to move to their next project, you know what I'm saying? So if you can, when you get a project done out here, try to get a flat fee and don't get that pay, they pay, pay, uh, pay by the day, by the day, by the, no, that, they'll weigh you out with that. Ryan Train, Bobby Nation, One Nation. We got, uh, what's up? What's up, uh, got two. Okay, he said, let y'all look. Okay, let y'all look, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Let y'all is pig, pork, y'all. And Manuk is chicken, okay? Chicken and, chicken and pork. I eat chicken and I, I like chicken and I like eggs. And I like that thing she got between her. Mm, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Ryan Train, Bobby Nation, One Nation. Oh, he said, Sir Pickles. Okay, those are places out here, guys, that you can have a good lecture on at and good food. So he like to eat, okay? Uh, John, he said, might be, might need to buy some more Bluetooth noise canceling everyone for the dog bark. Yeah, I got one. But they're expensive out here, man. They're really expensive out here. I'm going to probably do for another one. The one I had is not that good. Yeah, but that's a good idea, John. Uh, you get a noise canceling uh, microphone and headphones where it take some of the noise out, but it won't take all of it out. But it's, it reduces it to a large degree. Like you see right now, so people got some work, people are doing some work across from me. And y'all hear that noise right there? So that's the type of stuff. We just got through with our noise. Every time you turn around, somebody's doing something out here. So that's right next door to me. Uh, TLM in the house today, what's up, man? He said, uh, Mama didn't raise no food. Real talk, bro. <laughs> know that right, man? Hey, man, I'm from the South. I'm from the, I'm from the dirty, dirty Georgia, Southern Georgia, baby. In South Carolina, South Carolina. I was born in South Carolina, South Carolina, and I moved to Georgia at, at the age of 16. So I ain't nothing but, I'm from the dirty, dirty South, baby. There ain't nothing you can't tell me nothing because I done seen it all. <laughs> I done been through it all. And I'm thanking the Lord I came through it all by, by the grace of God. There go I, except for the grace of God is always with me. And I thank him for being my rock and my shield. Let's go, Rock Train, Bobby DC, One Nation. Who we got? Okay, I got okay, home. Screen I messed up again, y'all. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Okay, if I get, if I get to a comment and I miss your comment, forgive me. Well, I know not what I do, okay? <laughs> I just can't get to it, okay? Uh, hold up, man. Now I can't get none of them. But yeah, man, it's a, it's a beautiful day. Me and Lisa D having a wonderful morning. I wanted to share our morning with you. Uh, I want to do a live stream on the, the, the laptop, but the, the internet is so slow on the prepaid modem I have. I said, nah, I don't want to keep dropping with these guys. I just do it on the cell phone. So that's where... I, TLM, he said, I lived in Charlotte for 10 years. Okay. Yeah, man, I lived in Charlotte for three years. Charlotte's nice. It really is. It's a nice place. I have very, very good memories for Charlotte. I lived near, I worked in Research Triangle Park, you know what I said? I live. I worked there for a company called Bell South. They're called AT&T now. Uh, but I, I had three wonderful years there. I had some good people there. Got in lost touch with all of them, but I had some good friends there. It's a nice place. If you all want it, it's a family place, really. If you're looking for a good place to raise your family in the, in the, in the USA, Charlotte would be a good place. It's not 
uh, small, it's big, but it's not too big like Atlanta, okay? And it's only about, what, three hours, three and a half hours away from Sharp from Atlanta. So we used to go back to Atlanta Fort uh, every, uh, about two or three times a month, because it was so quick, so, so close. All right, now, okay, I got the screen back. Let's see, uh, uh, okay, I've got a lot of comments here, y'all. Give me a chance to get down to where I need to be, okay? All right, uh, okay. Okay, ooh, I got a lot of comments, man. Okay, uh, in 10 years time, there will be no more fish, uh, thanks to China. <laughs> you know what, man, y'all think it's funny, but it's true. China is messing up the whole ecosystem, ecological system. They have a thing about how they catch their fish. I did a broadcast on, I can't remember the term, but there's a specific term, uh, I think it's called dragging, uh, sea dragging or boat dragging. They tear up the, the floor bears of the, of the uh, oceans just to get fish. And while they're getting the, capturing the fish, they're tearing up, what? While they're capturing the fish, they're tearing up, tearing up the ocean beds. And, and uh, you see that China is a thief. You hear me? I'm sorry, man. You Chinese out there, I don't mean no offense to you. I'm no, I don't, I don't, I want to come off from being uh, xenophobic at all. But I'm going to tell you the truth. China and the people of China, a lot of them are stealers and thieves. They steal people's fish. That's what they did out here. They came to the Philippines and they stole islands, all kind of stuff, man. And in, in the Philippines right now, took them to court. And China, you know what China said? They lost the court case. You know what China said when they took them to court? We don't, we don't recognize that court. We don't acknowledge that. That's not a real court. This is our property. See what I'm saying, man? China has the attitude that Putin has. You know? I'm the, I'm the, I'm the bear, huh? Okay. Anyway, uh, but yeah, uh, you, we won't have no fish in a few years, man. If they keep on going the way it is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, just like you said, thanks to Jinping and his people. But that's all right, man. Uh, if we don't have no fish, we can't grow the fish. Uh, the fish can't grow like normal. Scientists will grow the fish. They'll find a way to uh, uh, manufacture the fish in a different way, because. Uh, wherever, the, wherever you need to survive, you'll find a way to survive. And so our children's children will be the ones finding new ways to do new things. Uh, and, and so we'll have it better than they have. They're going to have a hard time. We done jacked up this earth so bad, man. And, uh, and, and before it's over with, many of us will be hitting on a, on a shuttle to get up out of here, you know? Yeah, we'll be getting on them shuttle. Like right now, they're charging like a million dollars each, or what, a million? Charge each person a million dollars to go up in the, in the stratosphere and atmosphere for, in the space age for like five minutes. <laughs> Can you believe that? They charge them people like 10 million, five, all kind of crazy numbers, man. And they go up there for five minutes and they come back down, they're so happy. Uh, I feel like I was with God. Now, come on, man, shut up. <laughs> you just paid up some big money for nothing. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That's how I feel. Ronald Chain, Bobby Nees, well, who we got? Um, okay, DJ gave me a phone. Okay, Lisa D. Okay, uh, Lisa D. Come fix this for me. It messed up. Okay, I can't see it on hers either now. Lisa D. Fix the fix the screen for me so I can see the comments on your phone. I can't see. It. Okay, I got I got one. Uh, Jeff Jam. I see his comment. He said uh. Went off the screen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I gotta take my glasses off, y'all. Hold this for me, Lizzie. Oh God! <laughs> Look at my hand. Hold oh, it. Okay. I gotta take my glasses off. All right. So I'm. I'm. I'm I got Lisa D's phone right now. So I'm going back to the top. Uh. All right. I'm start off with dot two. Dot two. I said let y'all know. I got that. I got that. John Thomas got that. TLM. He said, Mama didn't raise no food. Nah, man. Mama did, Mama did not raise no food, man. He should go to school. And, uh, you know, you ought to be thankful that you had a good mother. A lot of people didn't have good mothers, man. I'm serious. There's a lot of guys that don't know what, what, it, what love is because they never experienced love in their life. You know what I'm saying? And that's sad. When you find a man 50, 55, 60 years old, don't know the first thing about love. Oh, he has some women, you know? He did the he did the slam bam thank you man but then what that was that was all it is that was all it was sex and if you have a life and you don't know what love is you you one sad person man 
And I'm not trying to be sarcastic with you, not trying to be mean to you, but love, life is about loving. Life is about giving. Life is about a living. And if you don't know what love is, you don't know how to live. Okay? Let's go right to everybody releasing one nation. Uh uh TLM. He said, Mama didn't okay, uh, I can't wait to touch down in May. Okay, you coming to May? All right, TLM. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Uh, I got yeah, y'all. If y'all want to see me, everybody coming to coming. To, if you come to see me and want to see Bobby D and Lizzie D, guess what? You need to be a member. <laughs> I need you to be a member, man. I need you to do a uh, bronze membership, silver membership, or gold. Okay, but that's I, if you want me to make the time, break the time, shake the time to come see you. You need to be a member, or else I can't do it. Okay, that's all there is to it. Let's go round train by release really One Nation. We got JL Griffin. What's up, JL? Yeah, right, man. So good to see you in the house today. He said, uh, hey, it's good evening about this. I'm going to be there in Philippine April. Okay, man. Come on down, JL. And uh, we'll be glad to welcome you back home. JL messed up, man. He messed up big time. He left the Philippines. What you do that for, JL? You, you know you weren't gonna be, you know your mind wasn't gonna be right in the, in the USA. It's crazy out there, man. Once you tell you this guy, once you move to the Philippines and you have settled maybe three, six months a year. And you move back to the USA, you're not gonna be right. You're not gonna feel right because if you have adjusted to the Philippine lifestyle, it's hard to go back to that Western lifestyle. That's why I can tell you, I will never go back to live permanently. I will go back to visit. You know, I got people there, but I will never go back to live there because I'm free now, and I don't want to go back to being a slave. Okay, that's just the way I feel about it. Ron Jay, by releasing One Nation, we got uh, jail. Uh, I mean, uh, got to. He said. Hawaii is always has snow. Okay. Uh, some places, some places have snow, some places don't. But most of the time, you don't see a lot of snow in Hawaii, unless you go up to the mountain regions. That's where the snow is. Roger Train, Bobby Lee, One Nation, and we got Dale. He said, I'm going to buy a condo in Lahu. Okay. Lahu is a nice place. Uh, not too far from IT Park, not too far from uh, Yala, Yala Mall. It's a very nice place. Uh, condos, you can buy a condo. In your name if you're a foreigner but you cannot buy a house and lot okay keep that in mind because if you buy a house lot you have to be married to a filipino to do so so i have, we own this property but it's a house and lot so my name is on it but if some push gonna shove i ain't got nothing <laughs> that's the way they design these laws out here but yeah a condo you can get it in your name right here by bdc one nation who we got uh 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 yeah i got that that dot too uh Mama Cita, what's up, my dear? Angel in the house. Angel in the house. Angel in the house. Woo! What's up, Mama Cita? How you doing, my dear? He said, hello, Bobby. And he said, good noon. <laughs> hello, Bobby. And he said, good noon right back at you, mother. Mama Cita. Rob Train, Bobby, he's one nation. Yeah, he said, unless you know someone who has a small, hold up. Who has a small house that I can get? Just asking. You mean to buy? Buy a house? I don't know about the buy, but if you want to rent, there's plenty of people out there who want to rent, rent a house. I know some people get even rent a nice place, but uh, I don't know anybody that's selling right now. Ron Chain, Bobby D.C., One Nation. Uh, Edwin Kirkman, he said, Brother Bobby D., I tell you, he's a blessing. Thank you so much, Edwin. Good to see you, man. Edwin is, is a nice guy. I got a lot of nice people on the train, man. Uh, when you nice, you attract niceness. Uh, a deacon in my church, he said, you know what song? I said, yes, sir, what? He said, it's nice to be nice. Isn't that nice? <laughs> he always said that. It's nice to be nice. You know? And I, I always say, it's nice being nice pays off for you. You know? Except when somebody acts a fool with you. You can't be nice to some people acting a fool on purpose. If they, if they made a mistake, you're still going to be nice. But if somebody tried to intentionally mess you up, nah. Nice to go out the window. Let's go around train by releasing One Nation. We got... Uh, uh, Mama C, she said, my boyfriend wants to visit you there, okay? All right. Tell Phoenix, I said, come on over, man. Come on over down here. Be like a Casanova. Nah, <laughs> nah, tell me, come on, man. You know, we'll see him there, but big get his membership, okay? Ryan Chain, Bobby D.C. Uh, Edward Craig, I respect you 100D, Bobby D. D.C. Thank you so much, Edward. I respect you too, my brother. I respect everybody on the train. I have much love for everybody to come, take the time, make the time, shake the time, to break the time to be with me on these broadcasts. It's a blessing for me to have you, man. 
You know, I'm I'm, I'm type of guy. I, I'm tough. I'm tough, man. I got a tough mentality. I, I believe in tough love. All right. I believe in discipline. I don't believe. I, believe, I don't believe in slackness. I don't believe in that. I believe in doing what you're supposed to do, being right, tight, long, and strong. If you believe like I believe, then we are right. But if you want them lazy kind of guys, don't come around me. <laughs> Please don't come around me because I'm going to embarrass you. I'm going to embarrass you to do the right thing. I'm going to shame you. I'm going to say, you've been sitting down for two years on your mama's? What, living with your mama? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Get up off your do nothing. That's what that, I'm, just the, I'm just that kind of guy. I would talk some sense into you. you know? A lot of you guys are that 40, 50 years old sitting up in your mama's house. Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Get up off your do nothing. Get you a job. Hmm? You talk about, I, I, I'm going to get me a woman in the Philippines. Get you a job first. Ryan Chan, Bobby Lee, who we got? Uh, Edwin Curtis, uh, JL. He said, Are you guys going back to Hong Kong? Uh, no, man. I don't fool Hong Kong. Hong Kong ain't what it used to be. Since Jinping took it over, you know what I'm saying? Hong Kong used to be an independent uh, nation. And now Jinping took them back under them. So Hong Kong is just like Beijing. That's all it is. And uh, if you're not careful going over there, you can wind up getting locked up. And don't get locked up in the, in the China jail. You will never see the daylight. Don't get locked up in Russian jail either. You never see the daylight. You know, you know who got Brittany Griner got locked up in Russia. You know that, right? The famous WNBA basketball player. She's tall and she she's an LGBT person. She she like she act, she looked like a, she's a woman, but she looked like a you know tall man. But they don't like they don't like gay folk people in in, in, in uh, Russia. I don't even know why she went over there. They they treat gay people out there like dirt, man. I'm like, what is she doing over there anyway? But anyway, they got her locked up, man. Said she was she was carrying some uh, marijuana and some other things in the bag. I think they put it in the bag. You don't know. Sure. It'll come out. It'll come out later on. I hope she get out though, because they got other people from America sitting up in the jail cell too in, in Russia. And they ain't doing nothing with them. Let's go round train by releasing one nation. Who we got? Uh Lionel Judah, what's up, man? You good? You good? Good to see you, man. Round train by releasing one nation. Edward Kirkland. Edward Kirkland. What's up, Kirk? He said, uh, make an effort if you really wanted to do it. Thank you, son of my brother. Yeah, man. You gotta you gotta put some action behind your talk. All talk and no action, you ain't about nothing. And my mama told me a long time ago, nothing from nothing, leave nothing. Huh? You wanna be something? Oh, you want to be nothing. Which one you want? Something or nothing? Something or nothing? I want to be something. And I want to help somebody get something. I don't want to help somebody get nothing. Okay? Because nothing for nothing leave nothing. Let's go around train by releasing one nation. Life in North Carolina. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, my mom Rose Smith in the house. He said, my brother from another mother. Green board of Yes, sir. That's a, that's my that's my guy, Martin Rose Smith. He always mentioned his city and his state. He's from Greenboro, North Kakalaki. He's from the North Side. I'm from the South Side. Yeah, we Kakalaki boys. Don't mess with us. <laughs> right, tell you about leading lot. Barrow, he said, congrats, Andy, man, number one. Damn, wasn't playing today, man. I seen the wild when he kicked the sum of a boy did. He kicked the door down, and he tried to throw down. Let's go around, train by releasing one nation. Jeff Jan Roo. Jeff Jan Roo. What's up, Jeff? How you doing, brother? Look, I'm another mother. You okay, man? You okay? When y'all coming back home? When you coming back home? He said, what's good, Dick's family? Hey, man, you know what we do. We're blessed and highly flavored and favored of the Lord, the most high God. Hey, man, when you coming back, James? Huh? You you know you know you're supposed to come home. You know why I need to come on your children. See y'all family out here. Come on now. <laughs> Don't be wasting no time. Get your shots. You ain't got your shots. Get your shots now. If you ain't got your shots, you're going to have a hard time coming out here. Go on, get your shots, James. Get your family shot and come on out here like y'all supposed to. You know it's been two, over two, almost three years now. You ain't seen your your uh, Filipino side. Your wife missed them bomb. You know, come on now, get your shot and come on out here, James, and stop being like that. <laughs> Let's go around to everybody in one nation. Uh, tell him he said, I live back. I live a block away from the Panther Stadium. Always get something to do uptown. Oh, you live from Panther Stadium, okay? Panther Stadium. That's in the cave, man. Yeah, so. Yeah, you one of them cater boys. Okay. Ryan Train by releasing one nation. Jeff Jan Rock. He's out here trying to make spicy rice, eggs, and noodles. That's crazy. Yeah, China man. Uh, let me tell you about China. Whatever you buy in this world, try not to get it from China if you can. Because they they mess up stuff so much, man. I'm telling you, man. And then they make it look like it's real, but it ain't. And you think you get something legit, 
It's some trumped up stuff. So anytime I see something made in China, I, I don't, I turn away and move to something else. Let's go around train by releasing one nation. North Carolina, he said, hey, Bobby, the countdown has begun. I have 39 days to go so I can see my beautiful Manila lady soon in April. Wow, I can't wait. I'm there, man. Congrats. Congrats, Monroe. Monroe is going to see his lady. And he knows that she ain't shady. <laughs> because they communicate all the time. She knows her every move. He, she knows his every move. And they almost as one. So it's been a long time coming. I'm very happy about all my guys out there seeing that their dreams are coming true and that dreams do come true if you stay faithful and you keep working okay uh the bible says that we walk by faith okay not by sight okay so don't think that you just want you want something that's going to happen now it might but i very very seldom you got to put some elbow grease to that want. you got to put some elbow action to that desire when you put some work behind your talk then you might get some walk my, the Bible says, and I say it again, faith without works is dead. I want a live faith. I don't want no dead faith in my house. I don't want nothing dead in me. I don't want nothing dead in this place. I don't want nothing. I know you don't want nothing dead in So work. Get off and do nothing and start to doing something. Let's go around train by me. Who we got? Murphy. Hey, what's up, Murphy? Congrats, Andy, man. Round the train by releasing one nation. Thank you so much, Andy, man. Thank you so much, Murphy. Hey. Murphy said, hello, family. <laughs> What's up, Murphy? Got in the house, got in the house. Gold finger. John Thomas is my gold bullet. Murphy Hayes is my gold finger. I got two gold members in the house. I need some more gold. I need some more bronze. I need some more silver. Let's go, man. Come on, man. You believe in Bobby D and Lisa D? Get in the membership team. Let's go. Let's go. Stop playing. Stop playing. Do a right thing. Do a tight thing. Do a long thing. Do a strong thing. Let's go around training Bobby D. Who we got? Robert Taylor, he said, greetings, Bobby and Lisa D. Long time since I've been on the train. Yeah, man, where you been, Robert? You all right, man? So good to say, so good to happy to see my people, man. I love to see bad people. That, I, I love to see people that come back. I don't care how long you've been gone. We've been missing you, man. It's so good to see your face in the place. Ron Train, Bobby and Lisa, one nation. Who we got? Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Lord Confessor. Thank you for the donation to the nation. Thank you so much, Lord Confessor. I wish I could do a dance for you, man, but I'm on a head here today. Can't do it. I got Lisa D phone in this hand, and I got the hand, my hand is in this hand. I got her phone so I can see the, the notes, the, the comments. Rod Train, Bobby D. Lisa D. Lord Confessor. He's hello, Bobby D. Lisa D. One love. One love, baby. That's it. One love. Rod Love Train with Bobby D. Lisa D. One nation. We are one nation under a groove. Mm -hmm. You hear me? The groove is called love. One love groove. That's all we under. And love is all nothing but God. God is love. Y'all heard that all your life. But it's true. God is love. One nation under a groove. One love. Remember that, y'all. Wherever you go, when you see somebody and you that you know them, you like to say, man, what's up? What's up? One love. One love. That's all it is. That's it. One love. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. Right. Jane Bobby Easy. One nation. Murphy Hayes said, I ordered a sauna vest and didn't know it was made in China. <laughs> I ordered large. It was marked large, but small enough to fit a baby. <laughs> what I tell you, be careful with that China stuff. Man, he didn't know, but he found out with China when he got it. Be careful, man. They're always making it look real. And when you get boxing online, it might look just right. And when you get it, it's jacked up. It's better on there. And you turn around, and on his back end, it's got made in China. <laughs> Jim Pin people, Jim Pin with his people, man. You know, they stick it to us every time. But that's all right, man. You know, what goes around comes around, okay? And I say the same thing about uh, Russia. Yeah, Russia, let me tell you about Russia. Russia is a big bully, just like China. Russia did a thing in Syria. Syria. You remember Syria, right? All the crimes that Russia is being accused of now, he's already been committed before in Syria. Nobody talked about his crimes then. You know why they don't talk about the crime? Because the people in Syria wouldn't know living in white people. They, they had some doctors in there. So they could, he did chemical warfare. He did chemical warfare. He did the, uh, the vacuum bomb. He did everything he's doing. He bombed hospitals. Everything he's doing to Ukraine, he did in Syria, and he did in Chechnya. But nobody said a whole lot about it because they had the dark hue. You know? But now, some little white people getting messed up over there, and he's doing it to them. Now the whole world crying. Okay? I'm telling you, man. Uh, I, you know, I'm not a racist, but I always look at the I look at the big picture. Whenever I look at anything, I look at the big picture. And the big picture is this stuff he's doing was done before, and nobody said a doggone word. 
Yeah. Now he's doing the same thing to some white folk, and now the whole world is crying, and the whole world want to help. You know, they should help. They, they need help. But I, let's look at the whole picture of how life is, and how the world is, and how they put a certain group of people down because of the color of their skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I always come back to that. I have no choice. I'm in this melanin skin. I live with it every day, 24-7, 365. Ain't nobody gonna put me down without me saying something and standing up for what's right. Let's go. Ryan Train, Bobby Lisi, uh, Large Confessor. What's up, Murphy? You all right, man? So good to see you, man. Jab, jab, he said, two, two. Maybe we can start flying this year. The delays are too long right now. Yeah, I know, man, it is. Uh, the longer you guys wait on getting your ticket, the more it's gonna cost you. I'm telling you that straight up because the prices for everything is going up. Inflation is here in the Philippines. Yeah, the gas right now, uh, we checked was 72 pesos per liter. The highest, that's the highest I've ever seen. Normally gas is like 38, 68, 58, but it's the highest I've seen was 58. Now it's 72 and they're talking about it's going to be 100 pesos per liter in the next few months, all because of the war and uh, supply chain shortages due to the pandemic. So get your plane ticket. They're gonna affect the plane company very soon. They're gonna jump double the prices. You watch. So you better lock in your ticket while you can. If you're planning to do something, do it before they go up. Before this month is up, or by the first part, is middle of April, the ticket price is gonna double. You watch. They're gonna plan with you. Hey, what goes around comes around. This is a small world. We are all connected and interconnected. Okay. This is a global economy. Whatever happens in America gonna have an effect in the Philippines. Whatever happens in the Philippines, Russia, China, gonna have an effect worldwide. So get your tickets while you can at a decent rate. Let's go around train by releasing One Nation. Uh Jeff, uh Murphy, you said you missed some comments. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. All right, let me see if I can go back and cut some comments, y'all. I got Lisa D's phone now. Y'all know my phone mess up sometimes. I can't get the comment. Uh okay, I got Zan, man. I'm, I'm talking to start from the top. Okay, uh, TLM say so gonna come in May. Uh, uh, JL coming in uh, April. Uh, Mama Sita, okay, got her. Okay, uh, I've been to China. I've been to Hong Kong, China, but I don't want to go. I would never go to mainland China because I have a deep disrespect for Jinping. And uh, if I went to China, I probably go. I, if I went to China, I probably want to go over and tell them a few things, and they they probably, <laughs> they probably put me in some handcuffs. Okay, so I don't, I'm not going to China, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to Beijing. Let's go. All right, that's it, man. All right, guys, it's been real. It's been real. You know, I like these chats, man. I like these chats when we sit down and we chit chat. I tell you a lot of stuff's on my mind. I try to find some things on your mind. You know, we are similar people. We have, a, a lot of us have a melanin, melanin condition that's common to us, and that's called blackness. You know, and I'm so happy to be a black person in this world. I don't know what I can do, you know, because I have the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? I know how to, I know how to act white, talk white, walk white when I have to, because sometimes you got to live in a dual society. You know, when I was on a job, I had to act like a, what the job want to be acting like in order to make the multi hard time. But when I got off that job, I'm me, you know? So you have to have a dual a mentality sometimes when you have this melanin in your skin. You know, I used to, you know, people, some people think I'm this dumb, dumb guy. I ain't got no say that. <laughs> you know, but I'm not because they don't get to know me on the inside. I'm just as smart as anybody else out there, you know? And don't let, don't let, let nobody call you dumb. I don't care if you are dumb, so don't let them call you that. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's it for now. I got to go, I got to go, I got to go. This is your favorite amazing neighborhood expat man, Bobby D saying, take care, God bless, and peace. See y'all on the backside of tomorrow.